Where is the uh, problem? A solution is prepared by mixing eleven point five milliliter or two point five molar sodium hydroxide solution with twelve point two gram. 12.2 gram sodium hydrogen carbonate in 500 milliliter solution. Okay. What would be what would be the final pH? Given Ka2 of H2CO3 equal to 5.6 times 10 to the power minus 11. So this is the information that is given. So we are asking for the pH and we are getting some idea uh, that most probably uh, you know something related to the solution where you have this sodium bicarbonate and you are adding some sodium hydroxide, they are giving you the K2 value. So there may be uh, something related to the buffer. So if that be the buffer, then let's look at what is the acid, I mean the weak acid. Um, if there is any conjugate base of the weak acid. So what happens when sodium hydrogen carbonate is uh, dissolved in water? What do you get? What kind of ions do you get? Sodium hydrogen carbonate solution, isn't it? So this one, as you can realize, is it going to, it is going to dissolve, isn't it? Sodium hydrogen carbonate? is a sodium salt and if it dissolves that means it is going to completely ionize to give you the sodium ion aqueous plus hydrogen carbonate ion aqueous yes and then most part of this hydrogen car carbonate is the hydrogen carbonate is an acid, isn't it? Because it has a H in there that it can ionize like this HCO3 minus aqueous. It is a strong acid or weak acid? Weak acid. So I have to use a double sided arrow like this. Okay? So that is going to give me H plus aqueous and the CO3 should be 2 minus aqueous at this point, isn't it? Because I am removing H plus from the HCO3 minus. So the K2 value really relates to this dissociation. Okay? Ka2 is really this dissociation and that value is 5.6 times 10 to the power minus 11. You guys get that? This hydrogen carbonate then is going to react with sodium hydroxide to give you the salt and what will be the salt at the time? Na2CO3. That means this is the ion that is going to be produced. So in the buffer system what will be the acid at that time? What is the acid and its conjugate base that will be equilibrium? 
the weak acid and the conjugate base of the weak acid that is going to be in equilibrium at the time is going to be HCO3 minus CO3 2 minus weak acid and its conjugate base. This is going to be in equilibrium. But let's see uh, how that reaction will happen, okay? But you can get an idea uh, what kind of weak acid and its conjugate base is involved in the uh, buffer or the you know the pH solution, the solution that we are making. Right? So let me look at the uh, bi sodium bicarbon, the bicarbonate that is going to react with the uh, sodium hydroxide. So this is how it is going to happen. HCO3 minus aqueous that is going to react with the strong base OH minus and what kind of arrow should I use in this case? Double-headed or one-sided? One-sided because it is a strong base hydroxide ion. So it is going to react completely with the uh, HCO3 minus weak acid giving us the H2O liquid and the salt is the CO3 2 minus aqueous at this point. Okay? It's 2 minus. And this reaction and these reactions will go all the way to the right. Okay? So this is the one that we are going to use that uh, you know what amount of the HCO3 minus is going to react with. We know the uh, do we know the concentration of HCO3 minus? I don't think we have done that. Okay. So let's really look at the concentration of HCO3 minus to begin with and the concentration of the hydroxide ion. Okay. So let's do that over here. I'm just using that. So the how many moles of sodium hydroxide have we added into the solution? If you look over here, uh, we have added 11.5 milliliter of 2.5 molar sodium hydroxide. So what happened? I have in the final solution moles of sodium hydroxide in the final solution is equal to the concentration of the sodium hydroxide times the volume of the sodium hydroxide. Yeah. So in there concentration and the volume concentration is 2.5 molar, that means 2.5 moles per liter times volume, which is 11.5 milliliter. So 11.5 milliliter. But remember, the milliliter needs to be converted into liters. So 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. So the liter and the liter cancels out. And then when you do this calculation, the number that is going to come is 0 0.02875 moles. I don't think that we really want to see the calculation in your calculator. If you have a calculator, feel free to do that. Do I, do I need to show you this? 
sodium hydroxide in final solution was is equal to 0 0.02875 moles. Okay. Moles of sodium bicarbonate. That one, the uh, molar mass of this molecule is 23 for sodium, hydrogen is 1, carbon is 12, plus 3 times 16. And that number comes to 84 gram per mole for sodium bicarbonate. Right? So, number of mole in 12.2 grams, so number of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate in 12.2 gram is equal to 12.2 grams times as you know 84 gram in one mole. So that will give you uh, 0 0.1452, 0 0.1452 moles. Okay? And that is uh, sodium bicarbonate. So now uh, the equation that I wrote somehow is lost somewhere. Uh, is, let me write that again. Sodium bicarbonate, the HCO3 minus aqueous plus hydroxide ion aqueous giving me uh, H2O liquid plus CO3 2 minus aqueous. So then my initial concentration before uh, they reacted with each other was bicarbonate was 0 0.1452, 0 0.1452, and the hydroxide ion was 0 0.28, 0 0.02875. It hasn't reacted yet, so I'll show you using 0, 0 for the concentration of the product. Okay? The change is obviously we're going to be. Uh, all of the hydroxide ions. See, hydroxide ion is the limiting reagent over here. And because it is a strong base, all of that is going to react. So, minus 0 0.02875. So, uh, the same amount of 0 0.02875 number of moles of the bicarbonate is going to react. You must not follow this. So, at the time, how many moles of water is going to be formed? Hmm? Plus 0 0.02875 moles, and the, and the carbonate is going to be plus 0 0.02875. But water, really, we are not concerned about it. So, I just wrote it. So, the change after that, the final concentration is going to be 0 0.1452 to minus 0 0.02875. Okay? And that number is going to be 0 0.11645. So 0 0.1165. Okay? And this is going to be 0. Water, really, I don't uh, need to be concerned about it. And the concentration of the carbonate ion is going to be 0 0.02875 moles. Once we have gotten them, then now we can apply the henderson hasselbalch equation. I know the concentration of the weak acid, which is the HCO3 minus, and I know the concentration of the conjugate base of the weak acid, which is the CO3 2 minus. Once I have those, I am ready to use the henderson hasselbalch equation to do my calculation. So at the time, uh, pH. pH is equal to pKa plus log, as you know, concentration of the conjugate base 
divided by the weak acid and the pk was given to be 5.6 times 10 to the minus 11 so it is really minus log of 5.6 times 10 to the power minus 11 plus log concentration of the conjugate base which is really the one that we have over here 0 0.02875 divided by the acid which is 0 0.1165 0 0.1165 so if I take the log this value this becomes 10.25 and when I divide the numerator with the denominator that number becomes 0 0.2469 okay and the calculation now continues 10.25 and log of that number becomes uh, actually that is a negative number minus 0 0.6075 and when you do that this pH is going to be 9.64 okay. so this is really the uh, answer that we are looking for